mashed potatoes whether it be at a fast food restaurant like kfc or a five star restaurant anywhere around the world the only way we can differentiate both of them is the technique and the ingredients they use and believe me or not i'm going to show you one of the best ways to make your mashed potatoes for making it is really easy so let's start shall we yeah don't also forget the gravy you're also making the gravy okay so let's start for making a mashed potatoes with gravy, of course you need some potatoes. So here I've taken some potatoes which are really really fresh. So first we'll start off by cleaning the potatoes and peeling their skin. I'll speed up the process for you. Before you clean up potatoes, it is very important to salt your water. So guys, it has been about 20 minutes. Now let's dry up our potatoes with the help of a kitchen towel. Once you have washed your potatoes, now it's time to peel them up. So with the help of a peeler, we'll start by peeling them. Once you peel your potatoes, now we'll throw the skin off. Then we'll take up a pot. First, to your pot, we'll start off by adding some water. and we'll put the flame on low once your water slightly heats up now we'll add on some salt to our water and then to your water we'll throw in our potatoes And then we'll cook our potatoes on high flame until they get soft. So guys, it has been about 14 to 15 minutes since my potatoes are cooking and now I feel they're perfectly cooked. To check if they're cooked or not, We'll just take a knife and slightly cut it inside the water. If it goes clean, it means it's cooked. The potatoes are really soft, so the knife can easily cut them up. Just like that. It's perfectly cooked. Now we'll switch off our gas and we'll let it cool down a bit. Now exactly after 30 seconds, we'll drain off the water of our potatoes and then put it into a glass bowl. drain of the water once you drain off your potatoes from the water we'll instantly hit it with some salt and then with the help of a potato masher we'll slide start mashing it up to that we'll also add on some softened butter In total, we'll add on about 3 tablespoons of butter. We'll add on some thick cream.
Once your mashed potatoes are ready, it should look somewhat like this. It is really smooth and really creamy. Just look at the beauty. Once you make up your mashed potatoes, now it's time to make up our mashed potato gravy. But before that, you also need to make up our chicken stock. So first, we'll start off with making our chicken stock. Okay, for making your chicken stock, first in a pot, we'll start off by adding about 1.5 liters of water. And we'll wait until it boils. Once your water starts to boil, we'll add on about 3 cubes of our chicken stock so we can make them into a stock. There goes one, we have to add on two more. Here we add on our second one, but remember to break it while you're adding it. There goes number two, and we'll add on now number three. Once you add it, let it boil for about 2 to 3 minutes on high flame. Once your chicken stock boils, now we'll set it aside so it can cool down. And now let's head to make our gravy. Now for making your gravy, first we'll start off by taking a pot and first we'll heat it up. But remember to keep your flame on medium low at all times. Once your pot slightly heats up, we'll add on a few tablespoons of butter. If you still haven't seen my recipe about how to make homemade butter, the link is in the description box below and we'll wait until it melts a bit. Once your butter slightly melts, we'll add on some all-purpose flour. Then with the help of a spatula, we'll start mixing it up until it gets a bit thick. Once your butter and flour mixture gets a bit thick, we'll pour in our chicken stock. And we'll slowly slowly gradually mix it up. Once you pour in all of your chicken stock, now we'll rigorously mix it up until it gets a bit thick. To your curry, we'll add on some freshly ground black pepper. So guys, finally my mashed potatoes as well as my gravy is ready and it's time to serve it up. For serving it, first we'll start off by taking a bowl and we'll add on our mashed potatoes. We'll make a nice hole in the between for our gravy to sit. Once you make like a nice swirl in our bowl, now with the help of a ladle, we'll pour in our gravy and just look at that. If 
from the top we just garnish it with some cilantro and there you go your mashed potatoes with gravy is ready so guys finally our mashed potatoes with gravy is ready and this smells so good and so guys it's finally ready and it's time for the taste test my favorite part man just look at that doesn't this look gorgeous now let's take a bite man the flavors you're getting the pepper the chicken stock gives an amazing flavor with the warm mashed potatoes and just look at this so good guys make sure you guys try this recipe at home and let me know how was this made i'm really not exaggerating but this thing tops all of the dishes we have made till now i guess so my so good guys make sure you guys subscribe we are really close to it 800 subscribers and this mashed potatoes peace